What's up, Daniel? This is, yes, I know, Daniel from Josh and Danny SEO. So we're just taking a quick look and seeing exactly what's going on. So right now we don't really have a website, but we do have a Facebook. So that's great. You can get a lot of people through Facebook, but it's not utilizing the biggest tool you do have, which is um, Google. So just scrolling through, it, you do list a little bit of what you do, painting, interior, exterior, trim, sheet, rock work, pressure washing, and flooring is, I guess, is also something you do. Now, this is great, but it doesn't let people really uh, read. It also doesn't add as much credit. I mean, it's good, but, you know, it's it adds a ton of more credibility when you have an actual website. So some of the key things for a website is content. So, you know, having, um, you know, I'm just going to show you. Uh, it's a lot easier. So I put in one of the biggest keywords. Now, a keyword is um, a service I am looking for as well as the area I am living in. That's called a buyer intent keyword which is how people will search for things typically when they're ready to buy something. So painters, Greensboro, North Carolina, somebody is searching for a painter in Greensboro, which means they are looking to buy instead of looking for painters, you know, or how much does a painter make, you know, some, some random stuff that have no location connected to it. But scrolling through, we got ads over here, which are fine. Uh, you can pay your way to get at the top over here. Some people are a lot very wary of that, so they don't touch those. You got another ad for Serta Pro. And then you have your GBP, which is Google My Business Profile. Now, these are very important to get into. The top three people here, statistics show 30 to 40% of everybody who searched for anything will click on one of these three people. So it's very important to try and get to the top over here. But then after that, we got our organic search, which is where anyone can rank as long as you know what you're doing. So right off the bat, we got you know Yelp and Home Advisor. They're easy to beat out because they're not exactly local, but it works. So we got Garcia Painting. Right over here, uh, let's see what they have over here. So anyone who puts in, you know, uh, Char uh, sorry, Greensboro, uh, Painters Greensboro is going to have them pop up as they're on the list. So right off the bat, we got a homepage. They have drop-down menus. Now, application, FAQ, and gallery is a little over the top. You don't need that. This should be all the way to the left, wasted space. This red thing should be gone, and they should make this a little smaller. Plus, to have your actual website on your website is a little, um, um, I don't know, weird. So um, honestly, there's a little they can do there. But as you scroll through, there is good content over here. Um, and they are um, they have buyer intent keywords on their um, on their website. So and that's something that you're really going to want to know about. Now, a lot of this is, you know, fine. They have their number over here, which is called. They have a lot of advantages, you know, get my rates. So, you know, they're telling people click on this. And the red is letting you know that, you know, they're a link to some other page now. Pictures are great. Little, um, you know, it helps break up the, the context uh, or the, the content. So you're going to want those uh, like periodically, like every service you do, you're going to want that from. So there's not a lot of talking about what their services are. There's just mostly a lot of talking about what they do and their guarantee that they have. And then unnecessary, but, you know, it's okay to have reviews. And then the bottom stuff over here. So you always want your links in the bottom for your other stuff. And then obviously you want, you know, a recap of, you know, your different thingies that you can do. Um, solid, not the greatest website in the world, but it's obviously doing uh, the work for them. But taking a look behind the curtain, let's see why they're at the top. So a, D, a UR rating is how strong your website is, and a DR rating is how much Google likes you. So they only have a 0.9 DR rating because uh, this, both of these actually are directly related to backlinks. Now, a backlink is where your link to your website is somewhere else that leads back to you. Well, actually, or I mean, that's a referring domain that leads back to you. But a backlink is where you have your website and someone can click on it. Now, they have 734 of them, but only 32 return. Now, the reason their DR rating is so low is probably because not all of them are really good ones. Now, there are spammy backlinks such as, you know, BuzzFeed or Wikipedia, stuff like that. We don't care for those. We want good, strong ones like uh, a painter's blog. But then they also have 251 organic keywords. So... Uh, different buyer intent keywords are just keywords that people are searching and they're bringing in over 300 people a month to their website just through that. But as we scroll through, let's find out what those keywords are. So I'm looking at, a, at what the keyword is. So Painters Greensboro, North Carolina, 400 people a month searched for it. He's getting 45 people a month to his website through it because he's in position number three on Google. Same thing for Painters in Greensboro, North Carolina, 400 people a month, 38 people to his website through it. Four, he's in position four. That is the most important thing. What are the volume for these words? How much traffic am I getting? And the position. Now, how does this help you, right? All we got to do, honestly speaking, um, Daniel, is get yourself a website, put on all the proper content, get the right keywords in there, and get good, strong backlinks 
easy as pie. Well, okay, not easy as pie, but you know, for some people it is. And then you have yourself making up a very strong website. Even if you can just pull in 200 people a month through your website, what can that do for you? Well, that's all I got. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. Let me know what's going on. If you have any feedback for me, I'd more, be more than happy to, to receive that as well. Other than that, you have an amazing day, Daniel.